Hey Captains, this is Karen Dar. Today's video discussing campaigns is going to be a lot shorter than the Collections 101 I did a few days ago. For the most part, campaigns are pretty straightforward. We of course have our selection of permanent campaigns, and these have no expiry date, so we can work on these with no stress. Each campaign has several mission trees, which we must complete in order. And we complete each mission by selecting several tasks, accomplishing these, earning little rewards along the way, but more importantly, earning the stars towards finishing each mission. Completing all the missions in a campaign, we earn the main reward, and these rewards can be pretty sweet, from special commanders to premium ships. Now, we also get temporary campaigns, or like this holiday, we actually have two full campaigns, and they both only last for 30 days, so there is some challenge to completing them, and this is where a little strategy is recommended. So when temporary campaigns do arrive, we should all do a couple of things. First, start by checking our calendars, see what time we have, and then by mousing over each mission stage, we can check and see what date each of these missions of the campaign unlocks. And then it's important to actually go through each mission stage examining these missions. We need to be aware that sometimes they become much more challenging or ship specific in the later missions. So examining them early, we can decide what will be the best ships to use. Can we use signal flags or camouflage to boost credit earning, free XP or commander earning targets? Um, can some of the missions be played in other battle modes? Ranked, for example, play much quicker games. While co-op or even scenario, you can earn a lot of ship kills, uh, top five position on your team, getting defended ribbons or citadel hits when you take the right ships. So a little planning and jotting some reminders on a notepad can go a long ways to getting through these missions and campaigns much faster. Maybe you need to save and not use some economic flags or camouflage in your inventory to help you in the later stages. Um, do you need to earn a new ship during the next couple of weeks to help you on a task or two towards the end? When a new temporary campaign arrives, most of us will also already be working on several tasks and it's your call, but particularly for casual players or if the task we have selected is very difficult. Some of these can take weeks to complete. And from one of the permanent campaigns, in that case, I would advise it would be best to consider actually discarding that and choosing a task from a temporary campaign to make progress on it in a timely manner. It might hurt a little to give up some of that progress, but keep in mind, World of Warships has never removed a permanent campaign and you'll have plenty of time to go back to finish that mission. My last major tip is that you don't need to complete all of the tasks in each mission. Some may take 10 or even 15 stars to complete and move on to the next mission, but you can choose to repeat tasks that you've already completed. So if there are some tasks that are insanely complex, uh, you don't have the right ship or perhaps the experience level, just ignore those tasks. Stick to the easiest tasks and repeat them over and over. It might get a little boring, but if you want to finish the campaign, that's the best advice. You'll only receive that little consumables reward for the first time you complete it, but you'll earn the star every time you complete the task. And this is key to getting through some of these time-sensitive campaigns. Now one last consideration that I make when I'm working on time-sensitive campaigns is are there other events going on? Like are there rank battles currently going on and do I play them? Is there a dockyard event? Um, are there snowflakes to knock off? Can any of these overlap? Because a little pre-planning, choosing our ships, choosing the missions wisely, we can dramatically reduce the grind in this game. And of course Everybody's pretty much aware uh, having a premium account allows us to work on three missions at a time. So there's several things that we can do if you don't pay for it to unlock those, save those boxes for events like this. We can earn several days of premium time, usually in World of Warships uh, crates. When you open these, they give you 24 hours of premium. So playing public test server, which comes up twice a month, certain missions, uh, watching some World of Warship streams, can all grant these containers. They're usually the last containers that you have to open in your daily containers and things like that. So you can actually save these for important events like this. Again, it all speeds everything up. 
Well, that's about everything I have to say on campaigns. This is a very simple video, but some simple advice can go a long ways. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And you should check out some of my other 101 series videos on my channel. Until the next time, good hunting. Thank <laughs> you.